officially soup and stew season, which means we are busting out the Instant Pot for a delicious, comforting, creamy chicken pot pie noodles. Let's make this. You are going to need one onion, small, medium-ish, diced up, however you see fit. I'm using my crock chopper. Chopped. I have here four cloves of garlic, fresh garlic, because I felt like being fancy today. Mince them up however you see fit. You could use a garlic press or you could have a super cute, fun gadget. The face is important. We are also going to need some carrots, which I bought shredded matchstick carrots. You can use whatever kind of carrots you like. And some celery, which we will use our crocodile chopper for. Two stalks of celery. No, I'm not mad, I'm just tired. Onions, celery, garlic, we can throw it right on in. Into my container of onion, celery, garlic, I am going to add my carrots. That'll do. Into my Instant Pot Reel on saute, I am going to melt a half a stick of butter. My butter is melted, my pot is hot. I am going to add my onion, celery, garlic, and carrots. Stir this around and saute it down until your onions and garlic and celery is looking a little translucent. And then we will continue to the next step. Things are looking translucent and things are smelling delicious. It is now time for us to add in our chicken breast. I have here one and a half pounds of chicken breast going right in. I am going to season my chicken up with a little bit of poultry seasoning and a little bit of salt and pepper. Don't go too heavy on the salt. You can always add more, you can't take it out. I am going to add in one container of chicken stock. This is going to deglaze any of that stuck on bits that were left in the bottom of the pot from sauteing your veggies. We are going to select pressure cook, 10 minutes, and then hit start. We are going to let this go the full 10 minutes and then we will let it naturally release for five. We will be back when it is time to do the next thing. Our chicken has been cooking for 10 minutes and releasing for five. We are now going to move the pressure valve to venting to release the remaining pressure. Remove the lid of your pot. This is what it should be looking like right now. I am going to pop my chicken breasts out and put them into a separate bowl. It's okay if some of the veggies come out with it. It's not a big deal. It's all gonna get added back in later. I have a giant bag of egg noodles that I got in bulk and I need to use them up. So this is what we are using today and we are going to add about eight to 12 ounces of egg noodles. Like that much or really however much your heart desires. I am going to spread these out in an even layer just so everything is equally submerged. We will release the pressure immediately once it is done counting down. Our egg noodles have been cooking for two minutes and now it is time to quickly release the pressure. Hit cancel and then saute because we are going to add things back into this pot. My chicken right on back in, add a can of cream of onion soup. This is optional, but it really takes it over the edge. And then I'm going to add half of a can's worth of heavy cream, about a half a cup. Stir this around and you are going to let that cream of onion soup and that heavy cream thicken your sauce up just a little bit. Some time has elapsed and everything is now thickened up nicely and it is time for us to eat. There you have it, comforting chicken pot pie noodles. And I know what you're thinking, is it even good? And I sure hope so because I could use a warm comforting bowl of deliciousness right now. That is so good. But of course it's good, I made it. Follow along for more aggressive tutorials.